Alright, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to start off this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule really and teach well. And salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. Alright, this is your brother Yahweh Allah from GMA Chicago coming at you with another lesson. And in uh, this video, you know, low I want to go into a quick video. Uh, hitting, hitting just a, a couple points on uh, the topic of the Passover, all right? Because uh, today, when the sun goes down, we'll be starting the Passover, all right? Um, and the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, all right? But I just wanted to point out, um, you know, a couple points, uh, mainly the, the part of the passing over, and, second, uh, and um, secondly, about Yahweh Shai, and how he is, uh, you know, he, he was the sacrificial lamb, you know, f ultimately so we can get, uh, uh, receive uh, forgiveness uh, of sin, that um, the judgment that's about to come onto spiritual Egypt, second Egypt, all right, America, Babylon, all right, will, will pass over us the second time, all right? So I'm going to start off here in Exodus chapter 12 and, and verse 12. It says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, all right, and this is the original, you know, Passover. All right, it says, you know, the first one, it says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh. All right, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are, right? Because the custom was that, you know, you'd, you'd, uh, You'd kill, you'd kill a, a lamb of the first year, unspotted, unblemished, which was spiritually Yahweh Shai, you know, because he didn't sin when he came uh, uh, on the, uh, 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 in the flesh, all right? So he, he was that, that spiritual uh, uh, lamb, all right? You know, but it said, but you know, you, 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 uh, on the original, you know, you'd have to take uh, on the first Passover, you had to take the blood of that lamb and, and strike it upon the post, uh, uh, the post of your house. All right, so you'd be covered. Your house will be covered with that blood. All right. It says, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and that would be your covering. It says, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. All right, and that's what we're hoping for the second time, man. That we're covered with the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. That, that us and, and uh, low will in our households be saved, man. All right? Like it says in Acts, man. It says uh, that ye and your households, you know, could be saved, man. All right? So I'm going to go to the next verse, Jeremiah 16 and 14. It says, I'm going to start at 13. It says, Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not. All right? And this is talking about the dispersion of Israel. It says, neither ye, nor, neither ye nor your fathers, and there ye shall serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. All right? When we go into captivity again, man, we'll be scattered across the, the, the world. All right? And that's what's going on. That's what that's what happened to us, man. All right? Israel got dispersed. Right now, we're in, we're in a strange land, and our, and our people are, follow, are following strange gods, man. You know, bowing down to the Virgin Mary. All right? to uh, uh, white, white Jesus and shit when the Bible Bible clearly tells you he, he was a dark skinned man alright our Lord and Savior was was a, a man of complexion alright um, and, and so forth and so forth man all these different different gods man like the holidays that we have right now the majority of the people don't know that those go back to pagan gods man alright and the people just willy nilly in, in, uh, in their ignorance you know uh, 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 are gonna be destroyed, man. Like it says, man, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. All right, because they're being ignorant. Okay, they don't know that they're following these these strange gods, man. All right, verse fourteen it says, therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, and it shall no more be said that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, right? Because that last plague that hit Egypt was the Passover. It says, but Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, right? Which is mainly where, where we're found in North America, 
all right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? It says, And from all the lands where they have driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, man. So we're about to have the Passover 2.0, man. All right? And, and according to Daniels, which I have lined up here, this uh, the uh, book of Daniel's 12 and 1, it says, And at that time, Michael shall stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of Israel, and there shall be a time a, a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book, man, those that are going to be passed over, which the judgment did not fall upon them, man. All right, those are the ones that are going to be delivered, the elect who are found written in the book. All right, and, and like it says, man, it's not going to it's going to be a time such as never been upon the face of the earth, man. You know, that's why you can read Jeremiah 16 and uh and uh and 14 and understand that it says that uh that is no longer to be longer going to be said. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, man. But Yahweh liveth the brightest children of Israel out of the land of the north, man. And this is what's going to happen, man. Well, you know, the times are are, 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 are are here, man. You got rumors of wars. You got pestilence with this coronavirus. All right. You have uh, uh, earthquakes in diverse places. All right. Hey, hey, uh, the, the Lord's getting ready to show himself again, man. And when he comes, he's coming back with a destruction, man. All right. And, um, you know, and, and that's what we hope. You know that's what we hope uh, uh, it, um, for for us that that we get uh, that we get delivered from from that destruction that that peril don't touch us, man. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter nine verse seventeen. All right. It says, "For for the Scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even the, for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth, man." And if you read up, it's not. It, um, you know, it was talking about uh, how uh, in verse 13, it talks to you about how the Lord had hated Esau, man. All right. And, um, you know, right now Esau is an authority, man. If you read Malachi 1 and 4, it tells you Esau, Edom is the border of wickedness, man. And he and he out of him comes the people whom the world has the nation forever, man. And they and in Job 9 and 24, it tells you the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, man. All right. And Daniel's uh, 17 and uh, 4 and 17, it tells you that the Lord setteth up the bases of all men, all right? And what was that? For that same purpose, like how he did with Pharaoh, man, so he could show his power in him, man, when he comes and destroys them, all right? And that destruction is surely coming, man. You got wickedness running rampant all across Babylon, man. Homosexuality, all right? Women a certain authority over man, all right? Hey, when 911 wasn't there, man, the, the authorities was men, and women used to know that, all right? And ex exceedingly wickedness has come from women forgetting that shit, man. All right? You got uh, uh, children being uh, raised to be homosexuals, all right? You, you got uh, idolatry, because that idolatry, uh, a lot of it is backed up by the, these women, man. All right? You know... Buy, buying little things here thinking they're going to be saved because they got little idols, man. All right? Or even just that, it's just they just like it, man. Like shopping or whatever, man. But, you know, it's just it's just a bunch of wickedness in this world, man. You got underground pedophile rings, you know. You got, uh, uh, you know, take uh, uh, Joe, jo, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Epstein. Ep Epstein for that point, man. All right? You know, Mike, uh, was it Mike Epstein? You know, it's a lot if I, if I forget his name. All right. But, hey, man, you know, the Lord's coming back with a vengeance, man. And, and we want, you know, to have the covering of Yahweh Shai. All right. And the way we do that is by, is by um, you know, e eating up the whole roll. All right. Because he is the ro uh, Yahweh Shai, the son of, uh, of God. He is uh, uh, the word. Like it says in uh, John 1 and uh, 14, it says the word became flesh. All right. So I'm going to read here in John 14 and 6. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. No man cometh unto me, but, uh, Salakia, no man cometh unto the father, but by me. 
All right, and this is a true statement, man. We can't get that covering. We can't get that deliverance if we don't go through Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because Yahweh Shai was that sacrificial lamb without blemish. All right, that came and opened up repentance and forgiveness of sin, man. Okay, like it says, uh, um, uh, and let, uh, let, and let, let me get it, man, real quick. Um, it says, well, oh, let me get it in the other. Oh, I could get it here. Um, uh, it says, you know, that we have to believe that, um, that Yahweh Shai came in the flesh, man. Because if we, we believe he came in the flesh, uh, you know, we believe that he, that he came and died for us as well, man. Um... Like it. Bear with me, brothers. Um, right, this is First John chapter four, verse uh, verse three. It says, "And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of Yahweh. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, where ye have heard that it shall come. Even now, already is in the world, man. All right." Yeah, and if I can read verse two, it says, "Hereby ye know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh is of God, man. All right, so the Lord sent His Son, man, so that we can have that covering, man, like right? that uh, of His blood, man. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come." Uh, yeah, that's the point in John 14. I'm going to read John, St. John chapter 1, verse uh, 29. It says, The next day John seeth Yahawashai, and this is John the Baptist. It says, John seeth Yahawashai coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. All right? This is he of whom I said, After, man, after me cometh the man which is preferred before me, for he was before me, man. All right? And this is the son of, uh, of the Most High, man. The Lord's sacrificial lamb, man. All right? And we got to uh, uh, believe in him and that he came, you know, show us, a, 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 you know, a, a more perfectly the scriptures. All right? And that he came and, and, and died for us, man. All right? We have to believe that, man, in order to have that blood uh, uh, covering on our houses. All right? When the second Passover comes, man. You know? From the land of the north, man. This is uh first Peter's, and this is the last scripture here, first Peter chapter one, verse 17. And and if ye call out on the Father, um damn. Yeah, I'm gonna start off 17. It says, and if ye call unto the unto the Father, who without respect of person judges according to every man's work, pass pass the time of your sojourning here in fear, man. Alright. Because uh, it says uh, a man of wisdom feareth in all things, man. All right? The beginning of, uh, of, uh, of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, man. So the time that we're here in Babylon, man, you know, pass your time with fear. It says, for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. Man, we weren't redeemed by these corruptible things man gold nobody bought us back man it says how but with the precious blood of Hamashiach as of a lamb without blemish and without spot for verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world but was made manifest in these last times for you man and that's how we got redeemed man through Yahweh Shai man we have to believe that you know in order to get this covering man and we got to do the things that, that, that he, he commanded us to do what do you tell Peter three times, man? If he loved him, man. All right? And and three times Peter came back to him and told him, Lord, you, thou knowest that I do. And he said, feed my flock, man. We got to do these videos. We got to be pushing forth the work. You know, our warfare is spiritual, man. We got to be bringing down these strongholds, uh, uh, these stronghold lies that Esau Edom has set up for our people. And we're breaking them down by doing these words, uh, doing these lessons, by going out to the highways and the byways, all right, teaching precept upon precept, not our words, but ministering by the words of Yahweh Shimei Shai, all right? 
you know, enduring until the end, man. All right. For that same shall be saved. All right. So, you know, with that, I hope the elect out there was edified. I want to I want to end this lesson by giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rekah Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word. Also, too, in truth and in sincerity, man. Until the next one, brothers, I say Shalom and a Baba Ball.